was good y'all thank y'all to everybody who decided to click on today's video i am rich sosa and i am back in the building today i got a very special one lined up for y'all but before we get into the making man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new to the rgf family and any new supporters i would appreciate it if y'all went ahead and hit that like button, that's going to help me out a lot. But also, do not forget to turn on post notifications because I'm uploading every single day. And y'all are not going to want to miss. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this build that I got lined up for y'all. This was actually called an all-around threat once 2K had first dropped 2K21. However, throughout the patches, they ended up changing the name to a different build so we're gonna go ahead and make the all-around two-way build right now the build's gonna come out to a different name of course because 2k actually patched the original build name but let's go ahead and get right into it this is still gonna be a really nice build to use whether you want to use it to end off the year or even just start a new build let's go ahead and get into it now the point guard is what we're gonna be running this build out of you can go ahead and try to make it out of the shooting guard but I'm telling you point guard is gonna get much better stats as well as the batch count when it's all said and done now when it comes down to the pie chart y'all most definitely have to pick the same exact one that i am about to show y'all if y'all decide to go a different way about it you're really gonna change up the build name and make it a lot harder to get the stats that i'm showing y'all but also the batch count so when it comes down to this physical profile we're gonna be able to shoot get some pro dribble moves play elite defense and then on top of all that when it comes down to the finishing we're not going to be lacking at all so when it comes down to the pie chart go ahead and pick the one split right down the middle with the defense as well as the playmaking two of the most overpowered stats in the game now let's go ahead and get into the physical profile so a lot of people really like to pick the first one based off of the speed however for this build if you pick that one you're going to be taking a huge hit when it comes down to your vertical as you can see right here we're going to be able to get that 91 speed 90 acceleration and an 88 vertical which is all going to be much better than that very first pie chart now let's go ahead and get into these stats now be sure that y'all put on these stats exactly as i am showing y'all to make the most balanced possible version of this build so go ahead and max out that close shot driving layup as well as the driving dunk then go ahead and put that post hook up to where we get 10 badges or 9. It really comes down to your preference, but I'm going to go with 10. Now, let's go ahead and get into the shooting now. As you can see, we're maxing out the mid-range, three-pointer, free throw, and then when it comes down to the post fade, we're going to go ahead and put this up to where we get another 10 badges. However, if you want to go with 9, you can do it to get extra badges in other areas, but I like it like this. Now, let's go ahead and get into the playmaking. Put that pass accuracy to a 70. Ball handle, of course, is going to be maxed out. And then when it comes down to the rest for the playmaking, we're actually going to go ahead and put that pass accuracy up one more to get 12 playmaking badges. Now, let's go ahead and get into the defense. So as you can see right here, we're going to go ahead and max out our interior as well as our perimeter defense. Then when it comes down to the lateral quickness and the steal, same exact thing, max both of these out. Max out that block. And then when it comes down to the rebounding, you could put the last stat there if you want to or any other category on this build it really comes down to what you want to do if you want to go with a 70 pass accuracy that's another route that you can go about but honestly the batch count is not bad 10 10 12 and 15 then when it comes down to the stats you're still going to be able to get pro dribble moves and on top of all that we are not finished with this build yet we still got the height the wingspan and then when it comes down to the weight everything is going to put this build together really well now on the body shape, comes down to your preference like I always tell y'all, but Burley is going to be the one that takes up the most space. Now, to make the previous build of the all-around two-way build, you have to go with six feet exactly, lowest weight, and then you could go with any wingspan that you want. However, for this build, we got to go with 6'5". Want to be able to make this build as comp as possible. Now, when it comes down to the weight, Go ahead and drop it to the lowest. Then from here, you can raise it till you see if it affects any of your stats when it comes to the physicals or our main stats. Now, when it comes down to the wingspan, as y'all can see, if we max it out, we're going to be able to get 
the contact dunks at 99. If you lower it, you're going to get much better shooting stats. But honestly, I would rather pick those contact dunks because I know how to shoot on any build, especially with a low three-pointer and a lower midi. That's going to be just fine. However, if you decide to lower the wingspan in order to get better shooting stats, you're not going to be able to get the contact dunks. That's the only thing about this build. It really comes down to your preference and how you see yourself playing with it. But I feel like the way that I just showed you how to make it is going to be perfect and a very easy build to pick up and use. Now, with these takeovers, we get the lockdown, slashing, shot creating, and then the playmaking, y'all. All of these are really going to be good if you want to break ankles. Go with that playmaking takeover. More contact dunks. Go with the slashing takeover. But if you want to be the most overpowered and toxic, go with the lockdown takeover. And as y'all can see, we have made the two-way slasher, which was previously named before the all-around threat. This build, I'm telling you, made exactly the same way a couple of minor adjustments but honestly the adjustments that we did make on this build are going to make it so much more better than we had originally seen so let's go ahead and take a look at what this build's going to look like at 99 overall we're going to get 99 speed 99 acceleration and a 96 vertical close shots going to be in the high 90s with boost same thing with the driving layup and when it comes to the driving dunk with boost you're going to be able to hit the 90s mid-range shot will be in the 80s with boost three pointer is going to be in the 70s honestly this has the potential to hit the mid 70s when it comes down to that free throw will be in the 90s and then when it comes down to that pass accuracy this will hit the 80s ball handle will be in the high 90s and now as for the defense when it comes down to the perimeter defense as well as our lateral quickness and steel if you're running with a teammate that has defensive leader and you buy defensive boost for each of these categories and on top of all that grind this build out to 99 you're going to be able to get a 99 lateral quickness 99 perimeter defense and a 99 steal y'all so again really gonna be a good lockdown build especially when it comes down to both sides of the floor look at this batch count super balanced let's go ahead and get right into it now 10 when it comes down to the finishing so the most important one that we want to put on first is of course going to be contact finisher on gold from there we have seven remaining badges so if you want to for animation purposes you could go with the bronze lob city finisher first i'm going to go with slithery finisher on gold like i said go ahead and put on that bronze badge and for the very last one you could spread the wealth or you could go ahead and put on another gold or silver badge it comes down to what you feel most comfortable with i like fancy footwork i have seen this badge work a lot in the past as well so going ahead and putting it on this build is going to be a nice pair up with slithery finisher and contact finisher now let's go ahead and get into the shooting another 10 badges to work with so if you know your jump shot go ahead and put on hot start that is definitely going to help you out a lot if not Go with the range extender on gold as well as hot zone hunter for these last couple badges if you're going to be in the corner go with gold or either silver then when it comes down to catch and shoot you could do the same exact thing if you want to you can change this build up a little bit by dropping down range extender from gold to silver then going ahead and put on bronze volume shooter you could even drop down your catch and shoot just to put on range extender back on gold that's another setup that i would really consider now let's go ahead and get into the next set of badges which is going to be the playmaking so we got 12 badges to work with we definitely want to go ahead and put on all the badges that are going to help us out so i'm going to go with quick first step as well as handles for days now for the last hall of fame badge it really comes down to what you want to do for the dribble gods y'all already know that we are going to need tight handles in order to execute the moves we want so that's the setup i'm going with for this build now let's go ahead and close it off for when it comes to the defense so we got 15 badges to work with not bad at all so if you want to, I'm going to go ahead and say it off the start. Go ahead and put on all of the main badges first. If you want to spread the wealth, go ahead and do it. But I'm going to go with Hall of Fame Clamps as well as Intimidator for my first two badges. From here, if you want to go ahead and put on Rim Protector, you definitely can do so and then spread the wealth between these last couple of badges. Now, there's another way that you can go about it when it comes to this build. If you want to, you can definitely go ahead and drop down rim protector to gold or silver and then you could drop down any of these actually from hall of fame to gold and then you could go ahead and put on defensive leader for the last and final badge this is a setup that i would keep i see it really balanced and that's what we're going to end it with 10 10 
12 and 15. Thank y'all so much. If you finished this entire video through, go ahead and comment down RGF in the comment section. I got y'all with a response. Man, I'm just so appreciative of everybody who has been supporting me. Just know that this is still the beginning. We got 2K22 dropping in a couple of weeks. So be sure to stay tuned for that fire content. And man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. To the RGF family and any new supporters, I would appreciate it if y'all went ahead and hit that like button. That helps me out so much, but also go ahead and turn on post notifications so y'all can see when I upload every single day. Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.